Alright, time to finish off the Lancastrian campaign. <clears throat> At Brest. Indeed. Brest? So you finally come to face me, duelist. I hope you're as good as they say, because the better the duelist, the better my game. At least he's a good sport about it. I hope you've come prepared, because it's time to duel! Oh yeah. We can't do the the duel thing because they're set it all the time. New battle music. Yep. And so at the end of this duel, uh Kaiba will take over the world. Yeah, Yugi's Yugi's field is kind of a big hot mess. I mean, it's just it's just it's random blocks spread at what seems to be complete randomness. I mean, look at this. I, I mean... Truly a beauty, is it not? I mean, I appreciate it's not full of crush cards, so I can at the very least move myself properly in this, but... Damn. Like, I mean, before... Uh, up until before... Um... Up until before, um... Bakura, the fields always had some kind of inner logic to how they were designed. This, on the other hand, it just feels like the designers just gave up and just... Hit the hit the Yu-Gi-Oh field gener random generator like <laughs> it really feels like so random like I I can because like, if you go back to something like um, uh, Mako's field was mostly water with only a couple of land which made sense because uh, we were fighting Mako and was in the middle of the sea so there was a logic to the, how that field was designed in here. I, I guess the developers couldn't really come up with a cool idea for Yugi's unique uh, field, so let's just press the random gen the generator button on. There you go, there's your field. To be fair, I can kind of get it as a culmination of everything Yeah, more about still everything, yeah. Pretty much, where you have to use your know-how of how the fields work to your advantage, because, you know, as we pretty much have made it clear at this point, uh, essentially... The field spells do sometimes offer special bouts here and there. So having one or more from each one, I'd say this fits the aesthetic of a final boss round of sorts. I guess. I just wish there was a bit more structure to how they're placed. Like, for example, have an entire row of each individual type of um, field. That, that would have been that would have been interesting. I think part of the reason why it's like this is to also give you a sense of strategy. Like, okay, so you want to get this particular monster on this space so that they really are at their zenith here and there, as opposed to just putting a long line of just one type here and there, which could allow you to, I don't know, game the system or something. I guess. Anyway, um, we already have a blue eye ultimate dragon on, on our hands, so we're just going to wait till I have enough stars to summon it. Then we'll just kick the crap out of Yugi with it. He says that so candidly. Indeed. Well, remember, Jova, like you yourself said, the Lancastrians haven't exactly been nice and thoughtful of the fact that they just kidnapped me into this time yeah. period. So, what reason do I even have to be, you know, to feel sorry for this? <laughs> Pretty much. Like, again, I only give Yugi or Henry here credit because he's surprisingly a good sport. I guess part of him probably realizes deep down that the way the old shady guy that he hired probably did it pretty terribly, all things considered. That's the thing, Joe, but like, um, actually, I actually forgot if he does apologize in the in the Lancastrian campaign. Um, in the next part, we'll see it, but uh, if I remember correctly, I might be wrong, though, because uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I might remember, but I don't think, but if, if you accept to side with, with Yugi, at the beginning of the game, I don't think you and you meet Yugi right after that. I don't think Yugi actually apologizes for taking while, and he doesn't even make any kind of promises to send me back home at all. Again, like, well, I do have to give this game credit for actually, you know, poking a stake in that thing and actually giving the the well the alleged bad guys because. It, as far as we know, is there really truly a good or bad guy in this conflict? Regardless, though, I mean, well, the supposed antagonist of this one do raise a good countermeasure, and hey, they're oh, actually yeah. more cordial. That's too. what I'm saying. Oh yeah. And, 
and that's what their boss being set up. I love the Twin World uh, background. Oh my. The colors do feel so right. It's tricky. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love that bit in the anime where Kaiba insults the concept of Two World and Pegasus is like, Don't you realize cartoons have feelings too? Mm -hmm. And then he proceeds to mop the floor try. with him. Yeah. Indeed. Ah, yeah. two monsters. I mean, I, I can't remember, Joe, but wasn't Pegasus basically cheap? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, he was using the Millennium Might to read the card, the, the, the opponent's mind, so yes. I forget if he had started cheating up to that point with Kaiba. Even so, the way to the the way the two monsters work uh, in the anime uh, is completely different from how they do in the game. Meaning that, well, in a way, it was like cheating, cheating because oh, there you they go. were so much more overpowered. You just saw there. To be fair to you, is it really it's cheating if the guy who created the game just happens to have the particular cards that work that way? Yes, Pedro. Yeah. Uh, Yugi, what you just saw there was Yugi doing his Destiny Draw ability. So when Yugi's in a pickle, he automatically draws a great card, again, to to keep up with um, uh, the spirit of the anime. Um, yeah. It's not gonna help him, but whatever. I'm still trying to find that Yu-Gi-Oh! parody thing from Britain I told you guys about. What? Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged? No, 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 there was this other one where um, it, was, it was on CBBC where basically it parodies how Yugi is basically able to just recover from a from a bad situation, but the cards are, but, but, but they point out that the cards are actually made out of cardboard and they don't exist. And he loses. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Mm -hmm. The music definitely helps this fight feel quite paced as well. Indeed. Alright, um, we're, we're almost there. Basically, Yugi now is on full defensive mode, trying to protect himself, but it's only go he's only prolonging the inevitable. My Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is the strongest monster in play, and it's only a matter of time before he, I take all of his life points. And yet, there's quite a bit of video left. Well, remember, there's the ending and the credits. Yeah, true. Bye, guy, the first night. There we are. All right, who's next? Well, for now, there's not any monsters adjacent to me, so I guess I'll just and I can do any. Uh, do we have any good thing to summon? Oh, we do have the Great Guardian. Hmm. Sure. Let's put in Get Guardian, if anything, just to protect my deck leader. I mean, he is more easy to summon in here at the very least. I'll say. Well, uh, well, ag like I, again, too, as long as you have stars, you can summon anything. Yeah. So. All right. Okay, so we'll have the Get Guardian stick around for defensive purposes. I think. Oh no, actually, I think I'm going to go on the offensive with him as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to just do a true frontal assault. I mean, I, I, I'm so high in life points at this point that I can afford to take risks anyway, so... Yeah, and Yugi, as you can see, he's basically just going full defensive on me. He's desperate. That Destiny Draw didn't... Maybe. That Destiny Draw didn't help you much, did it, Yugi? Or maybe that's just what he wants you to think. It, sure. is, po it is possible, actually, too, it is possible, because uh, you can put in a trap card and you uh, and in defense mode in this game, and you and the opponent will be none the wiser if it's a monster or a trap card. Um, yeah. So you it have to be extra careful about potentially activating them as well. It is true. Yes. However, like I just said, I have fourteen to uh, I have forty two hundred life points. He has only a hundred. I can afford to take a risk or two. Thank goodness Destiny Board isn't a thing in this game, from what I've seen. Nah. If Destiny Board was a thing in this game, we would be totally game breaking. <laughs> I can definitely understand why it wouldn't. I mean, this game came out in 2002, if I remember correctly. What, was Destiny Board already a thing in 2002? I think um. so. Okay, curious. What's your favorite sort of automatic win card? Or okay, okay. not even a huh? The cards have been allowed to do no un unconventional win conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite type of those? 
For me, it would be the Destiny port because I love the designs on that car, on those cars. <laughs> what about you, Tio? I don't really like those in general because you know they usually require a lot of setup. Uh, you know they're usually not worth it, uh, and in a way, it, it, it doesn't really have the same satisfaction that we normally. But if I really have to go with one, I guess Venominaga. Mm -hmm. Rem remember the anime? Mine's a Xer. I'm oh, sorry, no, no, go on. Mine's a Xodia. Sure, well, it's the most iconic one, so. Um. Yeah. Hey, remember in the anime when, as little Kuribo very well put it, Yugi took advantage of a flaw in the Yugi, in the, the, in the trading card game rules? And basically put him and won the Slifer's Sky Dragon from Merrick by basically putting Merrick stuck in a loop that forced him to draw every card the, from his deck. Yeah. I found the thing I was referencing, so, uh, there you go. Gina's Laughing Gear? I don't it's, it's, a, it's basically it's a compilation of spoofs of various things. Ah, okay. Um. Uh, I, I, like, it was quite the combo. Uh, Revival Gem. And remember, Rival Gem can can only uh, revise in itself if it's only destroyed by a battle. Never mind the fact that the real Rival Gem requires you to sacrifice, I think it's like a thousand life points in order to revive itself. But of course, we're not doing that because you know that way Yugi strategy would go you know kaput. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then after that, we we also have the slime tokens. Uh, which, uh, oh no! Some... The wing guard, the wing dragon guardian of the forest against blue eyes. Yep. Never mind the fact uh, that tokens cannot be used to tribute someone a monster, right? But whatever, they still do it because the Yu-Gi-Oh anime doesn't give a shit about the rules. Um, Actually, to be fair, there are some circumstances where tokens can be used for sacrifice. Even so, it's... these days it doesn't really matter anyway, because thanks to stuff like Link and Synchro, you can still technically use them for like that uh, without actually tributing them. The game doesn't count as such. All right, um, and he also had um, the Gem Defender Trap card, which forces every, which makes Gem the uh, rival Gem take every attack hit from the opponent. Combined with the fact that Slifer has his quote unquote second mouth special ability, which attacks automatically any monster that gets summoned into the field. Um, and and Merrick is even like, come uh, behold the combination of five cards that makes me invincible. Oh, as well as the infinite cards. Uh, card, I forgot about that one. So that uh, so that Slifer's power can raise infinitely. Mm -hmm. But uh, but Merrick, of course, didn't think about. Hey, wait, what about uh, if the duel goes on for too long and I run out of cards? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that, did you, Merrick? It was foolproof until Yugi poked that hole there. Mm hmm. There you gonna go. go attack him straight head and on. There, so there you go now, dude. Like he can't go forward because there's a labyrinth space. He can't uh, unless of course he's going to sacrifice one of his monsters because you can move your deck leader into a monster that you have. However, you'll have to sacrifice that monster in order to do so. So you let's see what Yugi will do. But first why well, summon something Oh, I'm going to just, you know, go throw these out since I don't need these. Let's just throw all these cards out. And we'll keep Pan for water. There you go. Mm. All right, yeah, we'll keep it here. All right, if I don't think I can do anything more. Yeah, I don't think I can. I actually forgot. Was that my gate guardian? Now that I think about it, right there. But I don't. I'm not gonna do anything for now. All right. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah. Yugi is determined to fight till the end. Okay. I mean, why not? Uh, I guess he is supposed to be the final boss of a campaign. Alright. Hmm. You can't run forever, Dark Magician. In the meantime, we'll move forward with Panther Warrior as well, why not? And uh, what about the Gate Guardian? What will we do? Hmm. I guess we'll just move to this space. There are monster attack where the monster just sits on the enemy. I'm sorry, there's what? I think there may have been. Ah, okay. 
I uh, would not recall where it came from, though. Fine. There you go, see? 50 points damage. And... that's about it. Come on, Yogi. Come over. Yo, move! I thought it was a dinosaur king, which body the fork is also dumped. Huh. Of course. Basically, dinosaur king is a... <laughs> it's a sneeze, yes. Um... <laughs> It's a, it's a basically Dinosaur King was a minor Sega IP. Yeah. That got an anime that four kids don't. Basically, oh look, Black Line Fire Dragon. They, they basically turned it into like mini, a mini Pokemon because they lost the rights a couple of years before. And they, and they used a lot of the same voice cast. They even got Veronica Taylor to voice the, the, the lead you know, because, you know, boy. Um, fun fact, the Black the Blackland Fire Dragon was actually the first ever monster that Yugi ever played in the anime in that duel he has with Yugi at the in the first episode. Sorry, with Joey, sorry, at the first episode. He's all like, great, great move, right, Yugi? And then Yugi's like, yeah, great move, but not good enough. And then he throws Blackland Fire Dragon. Yeah. There you go, so just like in the anime, someone's called attacks with lightning. Simply breathtaking. Oh, we were um, commentating on the um, on, on the anime, but I think we just kind of petered out when we got to um, the, the virtual Duncan reality Nights saga. Arc. Oh, no, was... it was right at the start of the virtual reality arc. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think unfortunately that's the kind of thing. I think I think that show might have just been a bit too long mm -hmm. for us to try and do. Yeah. Which is why mm. you won't see us do. Which is why you won't see us do um, shown an anime. Like at best, we'll do the movies, but that's it. Never say never, Dwibs. But wait, wait, wait you, you're honestly going to try and do One Piece? <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Maybe. All right. Maybe if the opportunity Ended truly about arises. 20 years. <laughs> All joking aside, there could be a way to possibly schedule it as such. Granted, Wait, that the, only... the main reason I wouldn't cover yet is that it's not done yet. Probably, you're probably going to be waiting a while on that front then, Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do love how that is one of the cases where the creator has gone out go. of his way to constantly assure the fan base that no, we swear. The end game goal is not just going to be the friends that we made along the way. Mm -hmm. Or that the um, or that the treasure is fake or um, or something. There you and go. There we go. Victory is yours, young pupil. Oh Dodd, you defeated Yugi and screwed up the world. I don't know, this is not my world, I don't give a shit. Technically your, it is your world, it's, it's, it's just in the past. No, it's yeah, no, yeah, no, it's Swift's right. it's, it's, it's past. I'm from Portugal. I don't give a rat's ass if England goes to shit. But, but, but the ripple hey. effect. Us, but Major, the ripple effect. None of us may even be born. Eh, I'll, sure. I'll take my chances. Wow, people really. I lose. Them. At least he's taking it well. No, you this. Although the rose cards are lost to me, I shall not falter for my cause. Uh, okay. On the graves of my Celtic ancestors, I swear that I've won with a reward of the end! Don't worry. Well, it's funny because if anything, people are gonna remember your son a lot more than you. Although, I think they, I think, I think they kind of altered it. Go ahead, Java. You now have all the rose cards. It is time to head to st for Stonehenge. All right, and guess what? I, believe it or not, Sato is indeed going to uh, abide by his word. Of course, why wouldn't I? You, of course, upheld your part of the bargain, and the ritual is complete. The power, the world, with the power of the cards behind us, all will be mine. Ours for the taking. Ah, okay. he even says ours. See, he's all for sure. Really 
The oh, time shoot. has come to realize the dreams of my ancestors. Stoneheads looks a bit more proud than I remember. So yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, this climax is basically a rehash of the climax of Forbidden, oh, Ro Forbidden Memories. Oh, no way. It's there, you. There he is again. Not exactly the same. This is like a Welsh demon. I don't even know how to pronounce that shit. Long oh, have I waited for this day. You are the ones responsible for this. Crime. First, you dare to summon my sleeping brother from his eternal resting place in the sands of Egypt. There you go. This is actually. There you go. This is actually his brother. You seek him, duel after duel, and then you dare to seal him away again. Unforgivable. So the game is the game kind of implying that I, this is the same duelist from Forbidden of the uh, uh, Memories. Like I failed again. Hold your tongue. There's no room for excuses. Nothing escapes my eyes. Well, shit. But I demand justice. I shall feed on you and your kind. On every last one of you who exists on this miserable planet. Oh, yeah? That's justice. I, that, that's not going to happen because I challenge you to a children's card game. It's up to you, duelist. No pressure. This evil that's awakened can only be laid to rest by you. Only by defeating this vile creature will you be able to undo the summoning. So basically, I have to clean up your mess. Why are you smiling at that picture, but being surprised at the other? At least that's what the legends say. Ah, oh, quiet, mortal! It is time to avenge my brother. The brother was a douche. I will give him credit here that it's interesting that they're making this a sequel to that game, which mm -hmm. also took place in the past, so... Yeah. Yeah, kudos. So yeah, this Welsh demon, we, uh, he even has a Welsh name to to boot. Um, but we're not fighting in Wales. No, we're fighting in France. Stonehenge. Or Stonehenge, rather, right? Yeah, I forgot, I forgot no, no, Stonehenge. No, 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 Sorry. That's in the south. That's near the. That's pretty much the west of England. Indeed, um, there's no there's no mentioning of this that name that the guy has being anything in particular that I that I'm. It's a demon in Welsh folklore, basically. That's all you need to know. Okay then. Um, all right, everybody. So yeah, turns for turns out this Welsh demon is going to consume the world, but that's okay, because all we have to do is beat it in a card game and, and you'll fuck off. So, to the, to the next time where we play that card game. Yeah. See you then.